All right, this is how you change the joystick. This is the joystick you'll be getting from me. You can see the plug goes into here. This is the joystick. So it's the same one that's on your chair now. So what you do is you would have to raise the arm up like this, okay? And first, you can see the cable runs to here, okay? So you can actually unplug it right here. So that's your joystick cable. There's a little cable that comes with it. You have to take that cable out. So you would pull that cable out of here. There's a little plastic tab here. You can pull those tabs out, pull the cable out. And then I'm assuming it's like this one. It's going to be tied with little zip ties. Tie the little zip tie off, just like that. And there's one here, probably you might not have all of the ones I've got, but all right. So now you can see the cable. So I'm going to keep taking the little ties off. The other cable, it's here. It's for that little box behind your joystick, so we don't need that. So, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to send this to you also, this key. You're going to go right here. And those two screws on top and you're going to loosen them up and I'm going to turn it around so I can be faster here so you take those two screws out so here's here's one here I'm going to put that on the seat and then we're going to, you're going to hold the joystick while you do the second one so the joystick don't fall and you're going to unscrew the second one Pull the screw out. So now you see we've got the joystick and the little box right here. Okay. So right here on the bottom of this little box, there's still one more tie down right here that I have to clip off, one little zip ties. And I'll send you a few zip ties with it. So now you've got the little box here that was sitting like this, right behind your joystick, like this. We're going to slide it down over here. We want to take that cable right here and wiggle it out of here. Okay, there it goes. So the cable came out, came out, okay? And then you're gonna hold, you're gonna take the, the bad joystick and you're gonna take the new joystick that I'm sending you. You're gonna put the cable back in the hole, push it all the way in. You're gonna bring the little box back behind the joystick like this, like we had it before, right behind the joystick, okay? And I'm gonna take this piece of tape off of here for now. So now you're going to put your joystick back on here with your two screws, one, and you can see the holes right there. And I'm going to tighten up this one screw right here. I'm just a little bit, I'm going to put the other screw in before I tighten up everything. So there should be another matching hole right there. I'm going to tighten it up. So I'm tightening it up now. And I'm going to bring the little box right here up forward. This little box. So it's sitting right behind the joystick. I'm going to keep tightening the screws. Like this. And like this. Okay, so now we got the joystick back on the arm. Okay, so the only thing you'll have to do now is tie your cable the same way it was before under here and replug it here. Okay, replug it. After you plug it though, here's what's going to happen. All right, so we have everything reconnected. Now you're going to turn the power on. When you turn the power on, this is what you're going to see. Okay, the screen's going to come on and it's going to go from 10 to 100%. You got to wait for the joystick to recalibrate. So when it gets to 100%, which doesn't take very long, so now it's at 100%. We got to give it a few more minutes. Now you'll see the lights are blinking red on the back box, and you get this this diagnostic test. So what you have to do now is turn the power off again and turn the power back on and now when you turn the power back on you have you're ready to go you can see right now we're on indoor one 
and you can see if I move the joystick forward, you can see how the chair goes straight and there's no error code, okay? Now remember, if, you're, if you get in this chair and you do this, okay? If you get in the chair, let's just say it's off, and you turn it on, and then you go to drive the chair too fast, you're gonna have this code right there, okay? That's gonna come on, okay? So that's, that's because you didn't wait long enough. Again, if you get in the chair, you turn the power on like this, and you start taking off too fast, you'll, you gotta wait for the, you see that blinking off center, and now you're good to go. But, so you gotta wait. So when you, again, when you turn the chair on, give it about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. When all, everything is lit up, and then you can go forward and you're not gonna have that code on there. So that's how you change the joystick and hopefully this will solve your issue. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.